The iPhone is smoking the hell out of the note. It is what it is. You, you, you know just like I know. You know just like I know. The iPhone XS, the iPhone 10, the iPhone XS Max. Man, the phones was garbage compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. Battery life was, battery life was horrible on those phones compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. I just got finished watching a video by uh, Mr. Tech Rant, Trent Marshall. I'm sorry, you are not getting two days worth of battery like some people claim. 19%. It did not hit the charger overnight. I was able to go two full days on one charge. With this phone, if you use it to its fullest potential, straight up. I feel like the, I feel like the video is not misleading, but I just think it's wrong. If you are somebody who just makes phone calls, watches YouTube every once in a while, and likes to scroll through social media, sure, the battery's gonna last you. But if you're somebody who's blind like me, or you like to keep your screen brightness all the way up, all right, especially if you're not a douchebag and you ain't got your phone on max brightness, I don't even know what to say about that. Or you basically like to game all the time or do other things, then it's going to drain, especially especially if you're not on wi-fi i personally feel like the iphone 11 pro max is the best battery life of any iphone period everybody does their battery tests on wi-fi and so that's why they get such good results if you actually started to test your phone and use things pretty much to the max almost everybody out there talking about this great wonderful battery life out of this phone is using wi-fi okay they're not really using their cellular networks I'm, i drive a semi-truck big uh folks i'm never connected to wi-fi here we go tech king mike now a lot of things were said in the video that you know if you want if you want to know what was said in the video go watch the dude video Go watch this video. I'm not finna give you a recap like that, but I'm finna say a few things that made that that stuck out to me that made me say, you know, you know, I, I gotta respond to that. So first and foremost, uh, the battery life on the phone, as far as like a heavy user being connected to Wi-Fi. I'm I drive a semi truck, big uh, folks. I'm never connected to Wi-Fi. I sometimes come home and forget to cut on Wi-Fi. If it wasn't for the fact that Apple has this stupid freaking toggle to where it doesn't actually cut the Wi-Fi off, it just cuts it off for 24 hours, I, pr I probably would not be connected to Wi-Fi. But I digress. I use my phone on LTE every single day. It's connected to my truck in a mount that, you know, I use LTE for streaming music, for Google Maps, I use it for movies, I use it for YouTube, I use it for Pandora, I use it for Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all those apps. I, but my phone is my literal data hub in my truck with no Wi-Fi. And I'll tell you, I've gone, I've left the house at 100%. I've been in my truck for eight to nine hours in a day and came home and still was like right around 40 something percent. And that's not connected to Wi-Fi. So the argument about being connected to Wi-Fi makes the battery better. Yes, it does make the battery better, but I also feel like that's not valid depending on who's using the phone. Now to Travis and Flossie, you know, their clips are in the video and you know, I mean, you know, Travis, he do, he, Travis does what he does with his phone. You know, I don't think Travis is a, is, is Travis may not be a heavy user. Flossie is definitely a heavy user. You know, I don't, I don't know how they use their phones, but for me personally, I use my phone max brightness when I'm in the truck because I'm in a, I'm in the truck, you know, like I almost said a bad word. I'm in the truck. There's a sun is shining on me. Like this light is shining on me. You know, I gotta have max brightness, especially if I'm trying to like, you know, listen to a YouTube video or look at a YouTube video when I parked. You know, I can't sit up here in that truck and be like this right here, looking at the phone, all tiny and stuff. You know, I, those of y'all know, I had an 11 Pro and I went to the 11 Pro Max because of that issue. So, as far as that goes, I feel like that's not valid. Now, in regards to his particular situation, as to why he's not getting the battery life like some of us are getting, hey, Everybody ain't able. That's all I can say about that. But I do think that phones in general have gotten to the point where we got to start giving them more credit than we are. You know, it's one thing to look for something to be wrong with the device. It's one thing for you to have an issue with the device and talk about it. But I feel like when it comes down to it, true heavy users, true power users, you have to define what that is before you talk about what a heavy user is not getting. And in my opinion, I am the definition of a power user. Streaming all day, GPS all day, social media apps all day. 
I am the definition of a heavy user and it is because of that that I can firmly say between the Note 10 Plus, iPhone 11 Pro Max, I'll even bring up the Huawei P30 Pro, I even bring up the Google Pixel 4 X, or Pixel 3a XL, between those four devices, the battery life is amazing. And of all four of those devices, with the Note still being on one pocket and the iPhone being in the other pocket, the iPhone is smoking the hell out of the Note. It is what it is. And the Note got the bigger OQ OLED, you know, curved edges, waterfall screen and all this other stuff. And the iPhone is still smoking that phone. It is what it is, man. You know, the battery on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is awesome. The Apple, they knocked it out the park this year. If you had an iPhone last year, you know, you, you, you know just like I know. You know just like I know. The iPhone 10s, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 10s Max, man, the phones was garbage compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. Battery life was, battery life was horrible on those phones compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. Horrible, horrible compared to the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. Now, Trent came from a 10 to R, which had amazing battery because of the boo-boo ass screen it had. That's why it had amazing battery. But other than that, no, no, son, I'm sorry. The iPhone 11 Pro Max battery is legendary. If y'all don't like it, if y'all think that I'm wrong, if y'all think Trent is right, then hey, fight me. But 11 Pro Max battery, legendary. For a heavy user like myself, legendary. Matter of fact, I got a screenshot that I can throw up here for y'all that I took this phone off the charger when I got home yesterday. All right, listen to this, listen to this. I got home yesterday afternoon at about 4.15 from work. The last time my phone was plugged up to a charger was in the car because I was listening to my music through the, you know, the iPhone, bipod, whatever feature. 40 something percent when I got home and I'm currently still at nine o'clock in the morning the next day, just now hitting 1%. I'm just saying, battery is legendary, never secondary. Uh, Trent, all love, but um, your phone got problems. That ain't us, your phone got problems. You might need to go back and uh, exchange that thing if you're still within that grace period because um, that ain't that big homie. Y'all, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like the video. Am I wrong? Am I, am I wrong? You know, if I'm wrong, I need to know. But I don't think I'm wrong, so I'm not really looking for it. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Here we go. Tech King Mike. so lit. All right. It's Saturday. Yep, it's time to brawl. One of these cats got to fall. Damn right, it's a tech fight. Yeah, damn right, it's a